In Season 23, it is announced that Assault Rifles and Pulse Rifles would be receiving a buff. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the top 5 Assault Rifles that are currently farmable that you're going to want to pick up before Season 23 rocks around. So let's get straight into it. So starting with the number 5 slot, we have the Abyss Defiant, a solar high impact assault rifle that can be focus farmed and crafted from the Crota's End Raid. The Abyss Defiant is a fantastic auto rifle that comes with a great perk pool, and being a solar weapon, it can and roll with incandescent, meaning you can slot it perfectly into your Solar Scorch build, but it does have some other great fourth column perks, so you're not locked to just an incandescent build. So let's take a look at the perks you can roll in column three. So in column three, it has some great perks. You're able to roll Pugilist, Enlightened Action, Heal Clip, or Subsistence, which would slot great into a number of combos. I personally would grab Heal Clip or Enlightened Action, but all of its perks can be used in combination with its equally powerful fourth column rolls. Speaking of the fourth column, let's take a look. I'd recommend the following to roll in column four. Incandescent, Kill Clip, Target Lock, or Sword Logic. You're spoilt for choice when it comes to perks on the Abyss Define, and I 100% recommend grabbing yourself a raid team so you can go and farm and then craft this auto rifle. Next at number four, we have another raid auto rifle, and that's the Age Old Bond from The Last Wish. With a refresh perk pool, this void high impact auto rifle hits like a truck. It can be crafted since Last Wish was refreshed, so you'll have no issue getting the rolls that you're looking for. Because this is a void weapon, you'll be able to slot this into a volatile build for maximum effectiveness, especially because it can roll Repulsor Brace in Column 3. Other Column 3 perks include Dragonfly, Stats for All, and Discord, all of which are fantastic for this weapon. And in Column 4, you're able to roll Collective Action, Golden Tricorn, which is perfect for grenade spam void builds, and Destabilizing Rounds, which is perfect for spreading more volatile to your enemies. Once again, you need to grab a raid team for this one, and Last Wish is one of the harder raids if you're newer to the game, but you can always check the Destiny LFG or my Discord in the description below. Onto the top three now, we have the Summoner, our first non-high impact frame on this list. The Summoner is an adaptive frame solar auto rifle obtained from Trials of Osiris. Now, this one isn't craftable, but for a PvP weapon, this rolls with some pretty insane perks for PvE, which makes it a great auto rifle to slot into your loadout. Let's take a look at the Column 3 perks. On Column 3, you've got Overload and Perpetual Motion. Both are solid perks for PvE and can help you keep your hand on the trigger for longer. And in Column 4, where this weapon really shines, you've got perks like Multi-Kill Clip, Golden Tricorn, Wellspring, Focus Fury, and Rampage. So you can basically pick your poison when it comes to a damage boost, however you'd like to proc it. I personally like Rampage, but Golden Tricorn or Focus Fury can also work, especially if you're in higher level content where the enemies are more beefy. Focus Fury will be able to be proc much easier than Rampage, so grab your designated Trials carry friends and get farming the summoner before the next season starts. Now we've got the Silver Medal. Coming in at number two, we have the Rufus's Fury. Another craftable and farmable raid weapon, this weapon comes from the Root of Nightmares. Once again, because it is a raid weapon, you will be able to craft your perfect roll. Rufus's Fury is a strand rapid fire frame assault rifle, and it's great to slot into any build because it comes with a very unique perk in column four, Paracausal Affinity, which gives you a 20% damage boost for final blows with an energy type matching the affinity, so light or dark. It will give this weapon a 20% damage boost and can be activated without the weapon out. All you need to do is get a final blow with strand or stasis damage. So in column three, some of the best perks you can pick up are rewind rounds or demolitionist. Then in column four, hatchling, paracausal affinity or frenzy are all great perks for the weapon. Keep in mind that paracausal affinity is providing a 5% higher damage boost than frenzy, but does require a kill to proc. So keep that in mind. Now at the number one slot, this is a bit of a cheat slot because it's not technically an auto rifle. It is the Vex Mythoclast. Vex is getting a massive buff next season and will be able to rip through anyone that comes up against you. The Vex will be receiving the following buffs. It will receive the same 10% buff against red bars as all other auto rifles. It'll also receive 25% more damage to bosses. And when in linear mode, it will deal 200% more damage to champions. The Mythoclast will be an absolute machine next season. And if you haven't got one, I would start running Vault of Glass to try and drop it. Especially since even right now, 
the weapon is insane. So once the buff drops, I'll create another video on how well it performs and maybe even a dedicated class build. That's all for this video. Let me know what auto rifles you're chasing for next season. And if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like or even a cheeky sub. If you want to connect with me, my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord are in the description below. And until next time, I'll catch you on stream.